Hey guys, my name is Daniel Furry and I'm a technical consultant for MuleSoft. Today I'll be taking a little bit of time to teach you how you can use connected apps. Connected apps is a feature that allows users to integrate external applications through OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect. Connected apps help users delegate their access without sharing sensitive credentials or giving full control of their account to third parties. Actions taken by connected apps are audited and users can also revoke access at any time. Connected apps enable you to use secure authentication protocols and control an app's access to user data. Additionally, end users can authorize the app to access their AnyPoint platform data. There are many benefits to using connected apps over service accounts. Connected apps were designed to automate the best practices that are difficult or sometimes logistically hard to follow. For example, rotating passwords, dual authentication, and having full governance over your data. Connected Apps takes care of all these without jeopardizing your login credentials. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create a connected app in Access Management and request a bear token in Postman. This example can be applied and extended to build CI-CD pipelines in a more secure and governed way. These apps will use a client ID in secret that will allow them to do some actions, for instance, deploy and publish assets to exchange or apply and promote policies. However, they will not be able to log into the platform. All right, to begin the demonstration portion of the video, we're going to head over to our web browser and navigate to anypoint.mulesoft.com. This should take us to the AnyPoint platform homepage. And then on the left-hand side here, we can navigate to Access Management. First step here is to define a new business organization. You can ignore these. Um, these are ones I've defined in the past and used. So today we're going to create a new one um, inside MuleSoft. So we're going to click this blue plus here. And I'm going to give it a name and assign myself as the owner. Hit Add Business Group. And now you can see we have a new uh, business organization called Demo underscore DF with myself as the owner. And so the next step here is to navigate to Connected Apps on the left-hand side here. And we're going to click Create App. There are many different use cases for Connected Apps. However, we expect the majority of our users to leverage the first use case where first-party applications are designed and controlled by the same organization or person that owns the domain. This includes server-to-server -server applications that simplify your existing workflows, for example, CI-CD pipeline accessing any point platform programmatically without a need for a service user. I'm going to call mine the same thing. Feel free to call yours whatever you'd like. Um, for the type, we're going to select App Acts on its own behalf with client credentials. This way, I'm able to choose which business organization to enable it after the scopes. So once I click that, you can see I click Add Scopes. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to click a few in Design Center, Exchange, and a few in Runtime Manager. You're able to edit these at any point um, to give access or restrict access, however you'd like. So I'm just going to select those for now. And we're going to hit Next. And then now it's asking me for, me for the business organization I want to give access to. So I'm going to click the one we just created, demo underscore DF. And I'm going to give access to the sandbox and design environments. Click review, add scopes. And then here is a summary of what I just selected. And finally, we'll hit save. Now you can see I have a new connected app, demo underscore DF, with credentials right here. So the next step of this demonstration is to head over to Postman. And the first part of this is we need to get a bearer token. So we're going to make a post request to a URL that I'm going to copy off screen and just paste it here. So this URL is https colon forward slash forward slash anypoint.mulesoft.com forward slash accounts forward slash API forward slash v2 forward slash oauth2 forward slash token. With this request, we're going to send some raw JSON in the body. So a few things we need to send. We're first going to send the client ID. We're going to grab this from our connected app. So head back over to your browser and our demo underscore df. We're going to go over to the right hand side here and click copy ID and then back to Postman and paste. The next step is to grab the secret as well. Um, this is going to be the same process. So head back over to your web and copy the secret and then paste it back in Postman. The final thing we need is the grant type. This is going to be client underscore credentials. Just like that. And now we will send this request 
and we will get an access token back. And you can see it's good for 3,600 seconds or 60 minutes. And the token type is bearer. So once we get this token, connected apps can do all the things that service accounts would have done for you. But this is a recommended way because it takes care of the security vulnerabilities by avoiding the use of service accounts that have elevated access. So to show us some of the things we can do after this with connected apps, we will make a new request. Um, this time we'll make a git request to a new URL. Let me copy it off screen here. Making a request to HTTPS um, colon forward slash forward slash any point dot mulesoft.com forward slash accounts forward slash API forward slash organizations forward slash um, our org ID that we're going to paste in there forward slash environments. So the first step here is to grab our org ID. So we're going to go back to our web and in access management, we're going to click on the left hand side organization and click into the new group we just created. And here we're just going to grab the business group ID. Um, close that, go back to Postman, and right here in the URL, we're going to paste that org ID, just like that. And then for authorization purposes, we need to send a header. So the key for the header is going to be just um, authorization, and the value is going to be bearer plus space plus our token. So I'm going to head back to our post request, and in the response here, just copy the access token and then paste it right after bear with the space in between. So here we will get all the environments in our org. So if we hit send, you can see the data of our ID, name, org ID, um, type, client ID, stuff like that. You can see we have the design environment and sandbox environment. These are the steps if you're building your own script or integration. If you're already using service accounts with the Maven plugin for CI CD, you can easily migrate those to connected apps and the plugin can orchestrate this for you. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you now understand the vast capabilities of connected apps and how easy it is to avoid using service accounts to eliminate potential security vulnerabilities like rotating passwords simply just by using connected apps. I encourage you guys to take what you've learned today and apply them to your systems. Good luck.